we got the flat eight grab on one of the merlots this is basically like a cat's paw so when you pull the spool valve them red spikes there go like that and flick out like claws and you grab the bales and we lift them up this rail was off the side it snapped so we're putting it back on it's in the field kind of like going at an angle and if you imagine my thumbs that rail you know, like shove them all square grip them and lift them up so we're just going to fix it now because we've got some little bales to do later or we'll move for someone later had a, had a stone jam this on i'm going now bringing the ash out of the boiler Punching the Merlot. Gotta get the laces before taking it all the way out. Right, go. I'm gonna have to read it out. It seems wrong, doesn't it, to like. Is gold. Oh, Mellow's rocking them. Have you used them butterflies? Yeah, they're in the shed. Just try this now. Rails on the side. There we go. They used to squeak, but I've just gone round with an oil can and oil it all. All the little ones. Look at that. Like, a, like I say, like a cat's claw. Just took the grab off the front now. I'm going to shoot down, see if our hay's ready to, well, Maureen's hay's ready to bale. And then we can bale that before we drop the baler off, because then we're going to drill some more sunflowers. We don't want to take the baler off, drill the sunflowers, and put the baler back on. We're going to bale it, drop the baler off, and then go drill the sunflowers. But um, we'll go and see if it's ready. If it's not ready, then we'll have to take it off. It's, it's actually not that bad. It's, it's fairly dry, to be fair. It's a little bit cold underneath, but I think we'll get away with it. Interesting, someone had tagged me in something the other day on Twitter, and it was in baling in america and they had steamers on the front of the baler so they were injecting steam into the pickup rail of the baler because this hay was too dry and they didn't want it smashing up in the baler turning into dust and the leaves falling off it so we have a trouble getting it dry enough to bale they have the trouble of it being too dry to bale this is the hay that we've been baling so far it's been left on this floor now we haven't really given it any heat it's just had a bit of latent heat rising up through it uh, it smells lovely in here and they look like they're just sweating out nicely so they could be fed pretty soon then. Just feeling inside the bales now. Look. I don't know how they can call it a log cabin when it's just a pallet full of wood. So we should have some fun putting that together. This bale is a bit bigger than the old one. So Adam's going to have to pack it in the field to try and get it in. Probably been better on the fast track because it's four wheel steer because it ain't gonna go. Now you'll have to get over. Hold on. Go on. Yeah, hard round. Go on. Go on, it's going. That's it, just follow it now. That went in easy. Good job the lights folding. It's not bad, is it? The tractor's gonna fit. Textbook! Hey, baby, hey, baby. Not bad, about nine bales off uh, three acres. Adam's just ejected the last one now out the chamber. Press the hydraulic, you press the button on the side, and it comes out hydraulically. That's why you shouldn't release balloons, kids, they're just a blight. Not sure if you can see Sam and Andrew over there. Well, I'd send them out to roll the field, disc it, and then roll it again afterwards, but they got it wrong, so they've disced it, rolled it, and then 
luckily I've spotted because I'm carting hay from over there. So they're now going to do it in the correct order because what I want to do is while the lumps were drying hard, crush them with the rollers, then knock it a bit more level with the discs and then 10 minutes later in this sun it'll be dry again and then the rollers would crush it again and we'd have a nice fine seed bed then for putting the next batch of sunflowers in whereas if Sam discs it first and then Andrew rolls straight away it's a bit sticky and you're just squashing lumps instead of instead of smashing lumps you're making lumps by squashing moist soil together so hopefully they'll get it right now so these baked lumps are just smashed up with the rollers but then anything sort of like darker and stickier like this it's now getting squashed into lumps because it's a bit damp and there's a bit of moisture so he's going to roll now where he's not done this that and then we're going to um roll it again because it'd have baked a bit more and hopefully we'll have a nice fine seed then but we don't want to lose too much moisture because it might not rain on thursday This is where it's not done, so it's all baked. So if you roll it, which is what Andrew's doing here now, that'll smash them lumps up. And Sam will like knock it in a bit more level, a bit like what he's done here by mistake. And then we'll roll it again, and that'll be even finer. Now it squashes the lumps, but it misses the ones in the bottom. And Sam will level it out, and then we'll get them. But he's brought a little bit of moisture up, which is sticky. So that just needs sort of 20 minutes to dry off. Another field of hay bale before 11 o'clock and in the sheds. Not often you can do that, but it's a nice day, so we've got away with it. I'm going to mow a little field around the yard now, and then I'm hoping we don't dry up later. Seat paddock getting mown. Moving round bales, so they've just put the spikes narrower. Now they're all hiding. Where's the dinner? Quite a run where they're going moving hay, so they're loading the telly on the, on the low loader, so it's quicker on the road. The tractor, obviously, then the, the merlot does about 45k, the tractor does 55, and they need to take a trailer anyway. So, put the merlot on the top, put the grab, the flat eight grab with the cat's claws with them on the other trailer as well, because they're moving round bales and square bales, little square bales. Just grabbing a bag of fertilizer, we're going drilling these sunflowers now, and it's gonna we're gonna be streaming it live to a primary school. It's, this is primary school that's that some of the children went the first time they went on a school trip last year was the first time they've been on the motorway so it should be a bit of an experience for them to see what's going on in the field just finished the zoom meeting with i think it was year three of the school up the road that's uh, primary school and they were really excited because they could see i don't know i flipped the camera because when they rang we were filling the drill up with fertilizer and setting off sowing more sunflowers so Adam's going to get this sewn now and then I'm going to go and off and pick the new trailer up. So he should have that done in, I don't know, half an hour or so and then he might go spraying then. The others have gone off moving hay so they're using, moving big bales and little bales. I'll try and get them to send me some videos. Does look really smart in grey. Maybe I should have bought a grey one. It's got a locker on that one as well. A hydraulic easy sheet. Call a mower, innit? Wonder could Sam break that?
self-propelled crone mower. It's a beast, that must be like three and a half meter either side, seven meters there, plus one on the front. Must be a uh, 10 meters. Sure, someone watching will know how many meters it is. It's a monster. Still looks cool and yellow. Proper tyres. Nice wide tyres. Some strength in that. Some cracking used trailers in John Bowser's. Wonder where they came from. Just got back with the trailer. Found a scratch on it. I think it's rubber mark. So hopefully it'll come off. Yeah, it's rubbing off. I think it's grease. You've been driving too close to the trees. I don't have trees in the middle of the road. But I am a little bit disappointed as well. The something looks like something I could have done. We grounded off there, but they could have carried on. But otherwise, it looks mint. We're gonna fill it up with stone and see what it holds. Got more runners than a marathon. Yeah, that, I did see that for. That that kind of paint run there, yeah. Because they knew I was in hurry for it. Put the part, matching fleet. I'm not trying your t shirt on yet, anyway. Uh, Adam wants to be Caleb, so he's been wearing his body warmer all day, even though it's like 27 degrees. It's, it's fashion, I keep telling you. <laughs> because you've had loads of easy quiz questions the last few days, you couldn't get wrong. Does anyone know what that is today? Got loads of numbers on it. If you think you know, leave a comment below. I'm now the proud owner of a Richard Weston flag. So thanks to Laura and Richard Weston for sorting that out. That's going up in the workshop when the jury picker comes back. And also as well, Laura has sorted me out with a big JCB flag as well. So it's still in the bag, so I won't get it out until we're going to put it up, otherwise it get dirty. But thanks for that, Laura, that John bounces where the trailer came from. Loads of Altas in stock, and they've got some really mint second hand ones as well. Second hand trailers from here. We think we've solved the fault on the ride on lawnmower. The starter motor is weak and a bit black inside, so we found one off an old one. So we're going to swap that over and see if that starts then. Uh, Andy managed to find why it wasn't sparking. There was a wire that was going to work, so that's sorted now. But some people said it could be the pressure sensor, sorry, the level sensor for the oil plug. Anyway, it wasn't. So, anyway, we'll get that running hopefully tomorrow. Mini Merlot's been playing up. When it gets warm, it puts itself in neutral. It's done it a few times now, so they've been out to it twice, but couldn't get it to do it. Anyway, they've got it to do it with the with the guy sat in it now. So hopefully, uh, Merlot will sort that out and find out what it is. It sounds like it could be a valve sticking when it gets warm. So hopefully, we'll get that sorted before we get into full swing of harvest. Trailer's back now. Got a job tomorrow at the nursery up the road if we can get chipping finished to uh, move a bit of soil and, and um, sort some stone out and stuff for them. So hopefully we get the new trailer to work as well, but it won't be new for long. Adam's already loaded it up with soil now to try and play with it. So it now doesn't look new. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you've not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. You can also click that little bell thing so you know when I put a video up. And it's Dougie's birthday today. So happy birthday to him. And there's a little bit of an outro of him. <laughs>